Good morning, happy Monday. Welcome back to the morning meditation where it's my desire to bend our heart to God's word. And I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you are enjoying all the sunshine. I know we are loving it and uh, spending a lot of time outside with the girls. And so I hope your uh, things are going well for you. But appreciate you taking time this morning. We come to verse 113 in our study of Psalms, Psalm 119. So we're working our way through all these stanzas and we, we are in, I think, the 14th stanza out of 22 this morning. And I just love this verse, and I love how God used this verse with the verse I read yesterday in a different psalm and brought this thought together. So, verse 113, David says, I hate vain thoughts. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. So, he's pretty honest here. I, he says, I just hate it. This is something I hate. And, and I agree with David vain thoughts the idea here is not just thinking of things that are empty and worthless while that would apply but uh, the idea in this verse is a double-minded thoughts or divided thoughts think about james 1 8 where james says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways that's the idea here uh, when david says i hate these vain thoughts it's a good illustration in the old testament is elijah when Elijah gathers the people and he's going to give them this challenge, this speech, and, and you remember Elijah says, how long halt ye between two opinions? The word halt means how long are you going to go back and forth, bounce back and forth, leap between two opinions? He said, Elijah in that context said, if God be God, then serve him. If Baal be God, then serve him. But quit going back and forth. Quit being divided in your thoughts. Well, David, that's, David is is not divided in in God he serves God but there are other thoughts that come into our mind that sometimes we're just divided on and David says I hate that I hate vain thoughts and I'll be honest with you I am a thinker and a processor and I dwell on things and uh, you know with with everything going on in our society right now and there's things that I have d been dwelling on and there and and I when I get on social media or I watch the news or I see what other pastors say and, and, and other pastors that I strongly am influenced by and they and they don't have the same tone on some of these issues and it's 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 confusing for me and, and it leaves me divided and I hate that feeling of being divided um, and so I completely agree and understand with what David is saying here and, and it made me think of another verse again that I read yesterday and David wrote this one also in Psalm 94 David said this, in the multitude of my thoughts within me. You know, I think David was a thinker and a processor as well. He said, I got all these thoughts going through my head. But he said, in the multitude of all these thoughts going through my head, thy comforts delight my soul. So, you know, I'm with David here. There's just a lot of things that, that go through my mind over the course of a day and a week. And some of those things they leave me confused some of them leave me stressed or feeling maybe even fearful or angry but David said you know when I think about you God thy comforts delight my soul when I think about you there's no division there there's no div I'm not divided in my heart on you God you're a you're a good God your word is true your word is faithful you're faithful and so I, I guess my encouragement this morning is especially at a time like this where every one seems to be divided and even internally we can be divided ourselves we need to ask God to give us a greater hunger for his word where we can we can be settled on that give us a greater desire for his word so so read it start with reading it and then if you're reading it I would say search out other ways to get God's word into your life way before I was ever uh, called into the ministry uh, I got and developed a hunger for God's Word to where I would sit out on a mower and listen to it while I was working and mowing grass at the park for hours, just uh, hearing preaching. Find ways like that to get God's Word into your heart. Replace some of your entertainment time uh, and some of your social media time, which is going to leave you confused and maybe angry or fearful or more divided. Replace some of that vain thought time with getting in God's Word. Find creative ways to get in God's Word. And I'm telling you, it'll have an amazing impact on your life. 
which then will have an amazing impact on those around you because they'll see the difference that it makes. And so hope you'll meditate on that this morning, the power of God's word. Uh, and there's some things that come up in life we're just divided about. We can't get it settled in our mind. But God's word is not one of those. And so delight yourself in God, delight yourself in his word, and see if that doesn't have a, a great impact on your life. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you back tomorrow morning.